Number 37. What are all reasons why bacteria are useful in genetic engineering? So let's talk about genetic engineering first. So what is genetic engineering? So genetic engineering is taking a gene from a species, an organism, to another species of organism. So for instance, if you take a gene from human and insert it into a bacterium, then there's a chance that bacterium will make same product as humans do. So like, for instance, if you take an insulin gene and then in, and then put it in a bacteria or bacter uh, in a bacterium or bacteria then it's going to produce insulin <clears throat> pretty handy huh this is possible because human gene or human dna's gene sequence means the same in bacterium or bacteria so for instance Let's say there is a here is a DNA and DNA has sequence, a base sequence. And in the middle middle, let's say there is a sequence called G A G and C T C on the opposite side. If we take this part out and then put it in a bacterium or bacteria, it's going to produce an amino acid that's formed by GAG in humans. So for instance, if an enzyme that produces amino acid or yeah, let's say produce comes along and reads what is written in the DNA, in this case it's GAG or CTC, it's going to produce an amino acid called glutamic acid. So if you put this gene into a bacterium and the same enzyme is present, and if it reads this code, a sequence, it's going to produce glutamic acid as well. So that's why if you insert human gene into a bacterium, it's going to produce the same product. Okay? So back to the question. So what are the reasons? Like I said before, they have the same genetic code. Oops. Okay, got to click on that. No, nope, this one. There we go. Sorry about that. So they have the same genetic code as other organisms. And bacterium or bacteria, bacteria have plasmids. So plasmid is a genetic material that we can put our genes into. So plasmid is basically a fragment of DNA. So bacteria have its own DNA as well as plasmid. Okay, so plasmid is a very, very small fragment. And of course, there's a lack of ethical concern, so we don't really care about, I mean, really, really, we don't really care too much about bacteria, right? I mean, and bacteria, does not f or do not feel any pain because they don't have nerves. So they don't, since they don't have you know, the sensation or they don't have the sense of pain, um, we feel it's okay to do certain experiments on, the, on bacteria. So this is the answer.